Okay, guys, for this video, we're going to be watching the Quartet School because it's just cute. It's balls. But balls aren't cute. That's a bad way to start the video. Okay. We're going to be watching the little Quartet School, and we're going to be talking about some beneficial bacteria and basically your uh, cycling. Cycling the tank is pretty much uh, letting your tank age, I would say, is the word, and let uh, your little dudes that you don't say, see grow in your tank. Those little dudes I'm talking about are going to be your beneficial bacteria. Beneficial bacteria are what break down ammonia, break down nitrates, and grow nitrates, a whole shebang. Basically, the whole thing is, once you can get a tank cycled, you're pretty much good on uh, keeping fish alive in general, because Ammonia is pretty much the main killer for movies, fish, and such. But, uh, what you want to do is... You gotta kind of suck it. I'm trying to explain stuff. You want to let your aquarium run without any fish. Well, you can add fish, but you are risking that fish dying. Pretty much, it's just... I've heard the uh, one way is to take a piece of flesh from a fish or whatever and just throw it in your tank and let it degrade for 30 days. But you want to make sure, oh look at Molly! But pretty much you want to just make sure that uh your parameter is perfect, that way there's nothing that could possibly spike and hurt your fish. Um, usually it can take, depending on the size of your aquarium, it would take anywhere from Two weeks to a couple months if you have something freaking huge. Uh, for my 55, it took uh, about a month and a half. For my 5 gallon, I wasn't really keeping track because I had only snails in it for a long time. Oh, look at the molly, it's so cute. But pretty much, it's just setting your aquarium up and getting it ready for the fish that you want to add. So that way, those fish aren't going to be harmed by your ammonia. So, you can add fish, and when you want to add fish, you go out and you find, like, see a little scory cat there? You want to get him and stick him in a tank all by himself. You want to do regular water changes with the fish in there because he can be affected by the ammonia and he can die. I still can't really think of a way to fully explain to you how, what cycling really is. It's something you really need to do, and it's kind of hard to find a word for it. It's gathering up and letting beneficial bacteria grow in your tank that are going to uh, eat the ammonia and turn that ammonia into nitrates, nitrites, and then nitrates. The nitrates are going to end up being the, the least harmful for your fish. And once your aquarium is stable, all of these are going to be at zero except for the last one, which is going to be your nitrates. I don't know, I always get the nitrates, nitrites mix up, but for sure it's nitrates. Which, those can get up to, like, everyone says you should probably up until, like, 400, and then it'll start hurting your fish, but that's a big load. You never want to have anything you don't need to have in your aquarium, okay? So, keep your ammonia at zero. Let your tank run. I know it's so hard to go through uh, a tank and have a tank set up without having any freaking fish in it is what's most horrible thing in the world. One thing that I did for the 30 gallon to, uh, here, let me show you the 30 gallon. That's a douchebag molly. To kind of entertain myself while I let my aquarium While I let my aquarium uh, cycle was I found plants and picked out mostly plants what I was going to put in my aquarium and didn't go into any freaking pet stores. You never go into any pet stores because you will see something you want. If you're like me, you will find something that you need to have that day. We'll bring it home and we'll say, I can do a large change and I'll keep up with it. Nothing happens with fish. I have never really had anything happen to fish while cycling your tank. I let that be known. I have added in tons of goldfish into, not tons, okay, with my 55, I added in uh, 
four, like one, one, two, three, four, the five goldfish that I originally had right away, nothing happened to them, they're all good. I think I had, that was the first time I read Egg Breakout, but that was it. Uh, you can, it's possible to run a tank while cycling, but it's not recommended because something can happen to your fishies. And if you really love the fishies and you, and you, this is your first tank, I would not recommend cycling the fish. But cycling is very important and it's something that people do not think about. People just, if you're like my mom and most older people, you think that for some reason you could set a tank up and overnight it does something to it that allows the fish to be okay, I guess. But seriously, just let your tank cycle. It will be worth it in the end. You won't lose any fish. Your fish will thrive. They'll look like this. I mean, look at my fish. I'm happy. And it's freaking 1 o'clock in the morning and they are not sleeping yet because they're having the time of their lives right now. My lights should be off, but they aren't off. Because my fish are partying with me. They are partying. Look at them. And there's that crap one. A long thin one right there. I got him from Walmart. It looks like crap. Just look at him. Fish pretty. I've been feeding him blood worms. Most fish that I get from Walmart, I just eat straight up blood, blood worms and uh, New Life Spectrum. Well, I always feed them my top food is New Life Spectrum and Hikari. I like Hikari so much that I name my one-eyed goldfish Hikari. But uh, I use Hikari, New Life Spectrum, and just, I think my blood worms are Hikari. But uh, blood worms are great to get new fish that you just brought in, started on getting them. You can throw fish in, it's going to be stressed out, it's going to be a little bit in, in, in. Alright, tip for feeding fish, if you have retarded fish like my Petros, freaking throw the food right where the filter current is, and uh, the food will go down right into the tank and it will kind of fly all over, and they will just go batshit crazy and attack food and they'll love it. So that's my tip for feeding. And always use the best food, because then you'll get the best fish and they'll look awesome like my guys. Look at my guys. Pretty great. I love them. But, uh, cycle your tank, guys. It'll be really worth it in the end. So I love you all. Keep up with fish tank fever. You all are great. Do what's best for your fish. Feed them best. Give them the best. Expect the worst. That's pretty much what I got for you. Peace out.